Hi everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Today I have a collective haul to share with you and please forgive my fingers. They are a little bit inked up. I have been inking, so please disregard the messiness of the hands. Today I have a haul for you. It's a collective haul. Last week I went to Michael's 99 cent store and Dollar Tree. So I wanna share with you the bits and pieces that I picked up. And I also wanna uh, share with you some friend mail that I received, and I wouldn't exactly call it friend mail because the friend that I received these items from handed it to me in person. So it's just uh, friend goodies, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and get started with what I purchased at Dollar Tree. So I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but a few months before Halloween, I had the hardest time finding Halloween stickers and Halloween goodies and Halloween paper. And so I didn't get to get started on doing my Halloween crafts early in the year. And now that I finally have the supplies, I'm able to do it, but Halloween's just right around the corner. So I thought I would be prepared next year and I bought some extra stickers so that I could include it in either my projects or in some friend mail. So here are some stickers and bags that I purchased from Dollar Tree. So these right here are stickers, they're felt stickers and they're really cute. I had purchased some witches hats and then some other cute Halloween uh, felt stickers. In fact, these packs were the first to come out. No other stickers had come out until weeks later. So I went ahead and picked these up and let me go ahead and show you the SKU number on this. And I thought this way next year I will be prepared. And these ghost stickers are just so cute and I'm sure that you guys have seen so many people haul these. So I'm just quickly going to run through these. I just wanted to show you what I did pick up because um, I want to be prepared next year. And you guys, I was watching Dawn H Creates and she's a dear friend of mine. Um, these are Halloween bags and I love that she has a box of seasons. So she has a box of her Christmas goodies and then a box of her Halloween goodies so that when she starts to create for that theme, she just pulls out the box and I kind of want to do that as well. So those are uh, the stickers that I purchased and the treat bags. And then here is this cute box. It's a Halloween haunted house box. I bought two of them. And I thought these would be perfect because I could use these as embellishment box if I ever wanted to do um, a Halloween theme mix of goodies for friend mail or for a rack package, I can do that. Here is the SKU number for this box. I just love this box, it's just so adorable. Here is the SKU number for this box. And those are the Halloween pieces that I purchased. Um, then, I did grab a few Christmas pieces. They had some uh, Christmas items already put out and this actually is autumn or fall and it's ribbon, but I figure I can also use this for Christmas. It's just very pretty with the gold leaves and that's basically all this is, is a sheer ribbon with gold leaves and I love it because I can use it for fall or for Christmas. And here is the SKU number on this one. All right, so then they also had their Christmas ribbon out, you guys. And so I had to pick these up. They're so pretty. Here is the poinsettia. And as I have learned from my subbies, it can be uh, pronounced either poinsettia or poinsettia, depending on where you're from. So I love these. And... This says Mel Melly. I wanted to say this says Melly Kalikimaka, but no, it's <laughs> it says Merry Christmas, you guys, and it's in the gold, um, golden red, and I love golden red probably more than silver and red together. And then this also says Have yourself a merry little Christmas, and it's in the white and red. And then the last ribbon is just some candy cane in the gold accent. And it's just really, really pretty. Love that. And then I also found these very cute uh, ornament fillers, but they're snowflakes. And I love making shaker tags, so I can't wait to use these. 
um, in a uh, shaker tag. So I'm really excited about these. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. Let me go ahead and put these aside so that I can show you guys what I purchased at Michael's. Sorry for all the racket, you guys. All right, so at Michael's, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out what I purchased. Of course, I purchased these on sale. These were all at 50% off. Okay, so I didn't pick up that much at Michael's, but I wanted to show these to you. I did buy some washi, and as you know, I don't have a very large collection of washi, so I thought while these are on sale, I would pick these up. Plus, I hadn't seen these before, and so this one is really cute. It's got the pineapples, and then it says live, love, laugh, and I like these because there's a lot of words on these. This one says sparkle, this one says beautiful day, and then this one says hello, um, can't really see this one, but it does say hello sunshine, I think. So I love the colors of these, and this one was also 50% off. I wanna say these were $5. Um, they were really a good deal. So here's the SKU number. And this one is called, ooh, I wonder if this has a name. Yeah, not sure if this one has a name. I don't see that it has a name, but anyway, this is by Recollections. This one is by Craft Smart, and I love the colors of this one because they almost look vintage. And of course, I had to get this because there's a teacup on here. Really, really pretty. And this has a lot of words too. And let me show you the SKU number for this one right there. And if I didn't tell you already, it's Craft Smart. All right, so this ribbon, oops. This ribbon is so cute. You guys, um, I decided to buy this. It was 50% off because Norma Lisa was using ribbon like this to create her little rosettes and then also her little embellishment. So I thought I would try it because I thought that was such a great idea. So I had to get that. And oh, let me show you the SKU number. And then I also got this, which is a repurchase. This was, oh gosh, this one was only a dollar something. I think a dollar 25. So it was more than 50% off. But this is the tropical one with the two cans and the pineapples. And I did a repurchase on this because I want to uh, give this out as friend mail. So that is my Michaels purchase, which was a very, very small purchase, but I don't really buy a lot at Michaels unless it's on the sale. Okay, so now let me show you my 99 cent items. Here are the items that I purchased at my local 99 cent store, you guys. And we don't have too many 99 cent stores. Uh, I could probably count one or two that are uh, a good distance from where I live. But I wanted to get these because I hadn't seen these at Dollar Tree and I wanted these for friend mail except for these. I use these flat backs a lot so I'll be utilizing these. And these are rhinestone stickers and they look like flat back pearls. So let me show you the SKU number on these. There you go. And then on these cute little stickers, you guys, I just love these because they are um, puffy stickers. And look at how cute this kitty is. Here is the SKU number on this. And I don't know if you guys have 99 cent stores in your area, but I do like to visit there once in a while. Okay. So those are the stickers and the little flat back pearls that I purchased. And then I had seen these at Hobby Lobby and they were a little bit uh, pricey because I it was a day that they weren't on sale. But for 99 cents, I thought, or uh, yeah, for 99 cents each, I thought that was a great deal. So I picked up the silver and I picked up the gold. And here is the skew on the gold. And here is the skew on the silver. Okay, that was my 99 cent trip, 99 cent store trip, you guys. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you 
the items that my friend Fiona shared with me. But before I show you those items, she is so sweet because anytime she knows that I am looking for something, if she happens to be in the store that uh, she finds it in, she will text me and say, hey, I know you're looking for this. Do you want me to pick it up? I'm here. And so I really appreciate her for that because sometimes the stores in my areas don't always have what I'm looking for and she lives closer to ones that are up north and she always finds what I'm looking for. So um, she does always do that and I, I try to do the same for her if she can't find anything. So that's what's so great about having a friend that is local because you guys can kind of keep your eyes open for each other. So here is the first item that she found for me. She had purchased this in uh, a Tuesday morning and I said, I really like it. I think I'm gonna have to look for it too. So I could not find this, but she found another one and she had texted me. And look at this, you guys, only $4.99. You get so many pieces with this. So if you wanted to use the front and the back, you can make 16. We were talking about that because uh, both the front and the back are kind of cool and so we can stretch them out and it comes with the glitter as well so I thought that was a really good deal so the next item that she also picked up for me which I was so excited about because uh, she and I uh, were also waiting for this pack to come out and they didn't have them yet and she had called several Michaels too and they didn't have them and so she had gone to a Joann's and you guys she found the sugar blush paper pad for me I am so in love with this paper pad and so she picked one up for me and thank you so much Fiona I am just so so grateful because I have it in my hands and um, it's just the most beautiful Christmas pad. Let me show you some of the pages in here. You guys, this is just so, so pretty and I cannot wait to use this. I'm not opening it all the way because the tape is still on here and I'm trying to make this a quick video. So look at how cute this is. This is probably one of my favorite pages is the pink Santa. It comes with several cutouts too, or cut aparts. So isn't that pretty? I just love all of the pages in here. And you guys, let me show you closer which um, prints I am so in love with on, the, on here. And you know, I absolutely love this print right here. And then these are all really pretty too with the gold. And then this is one of my favorites here, but I love this so much. And she got a really good deal at Joann's because I think they were $5.99, but then she had an additional coupon. And don't quote me, but I think it was 20% or 25%, something like that, but it came out to a very ridiculous price, which um, thank you so much again, sweetie. That was really kind of you to do that for me. Um, and then she also, picked me up some pads that I was looking for that they didn't have in my uh, Tuesday morning that it are repurchases for me, but I had to get them because I have already used up most of mine. So here is the Bow Bunny Enchanted Harvest, and I love this, you guys. Look at the pages in here, and I've already showed this to you because I purchased it once before, but I'm so in love with it, and it's so easy to go through this paper because it's so beautiful. Here's the other pad that she picked up for me, and this is called Enchanted Gardens. This is a repurchase. I have a project that I'm planning to do with this, so I wanna make sure that I have an extra pad because I am so in love with this pad. And we also wanted to buy a pad that we decided to purchase and we split the paper and you guys i'm so sorry i don't even know the name of the pad so the first pad was this one and it's a bunch of glitter paper and so we each got two pieces and this is really pretty i love the colors in these uh this pad they're very christmasy and then the other pad we purchased was a uh, one of the hot vibes pad and we also split this one. This was a Christmas pad, and I'm sure you guys probably know which pad this is. Sorry for the glare. Let me go ahead and put this one back. Here you go. So here is the paper pad that she purchased at Joann's. 
along with the sugar blush pink pad that she got for me. And this one is mostly in the blues, but it's very, very pretty. And um, I don't mind just having one sheet of each of these because I don't have any immediate plans to make anything Christmas themed at the moment. So if I really needed more of these uh, pages, I can always go and pick them up. So this is really pretty too. So that, and then um, she also was so kind as to share some paper with me that she felt she would not be using anytime soon or would ever use. So um, I love the colors of these and she shared them with me. So let me go ahead and show these to you really pretty these are in pinks and um they look shabby to me i just think they're so pretty and these look like the anna griffith is that how you say her name or anna griffin or griffith i don't know there's she does these really pretty floral paper pads I think it might be her. Let me see if I can see a name on here. Yep, Anna Griffin Inc. Sorry, I said Anna Griffith. It's Anna Griffin. But aren't these so pretty? So these are like remnants, uh, pages that she did not use and I think they're just so pretty. Can't believe or I can't imagine not using this. This is so beautiful. So, yep, those are the pads of pages from the pad that she shared with me. Thank you so much for that, Fiona. Fiona loves washi tape, and I think I've mentioned this to you guys before. She loves washi tape, and she has so much of it. She went through her washi because she knows that, you know, I'm not a big, I love washi, but I can live without it. And she knows that my collection is not that large, so she brought so many pieces, and she asked me to choose from the pieces that she brought and these were the ones I ended up selecting. She even gave me a little canister to put them in. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what she gifted to me. This one is just a clear washi, which I've never seen before, but that's kind of cool. And then look at these tennis shoes. Aren't these so cute? And then this one right here just says amazing and it's gold and I love gold. So anything with gold, I am not gonna say no to. This one says love. Here's some with some gold polka dots. And then here's some pink washi that I think is cute. I can always use these in flip books. And look at how cute this is. It's a cute fox and I couldn't believe she was giving this away. Um, she said she didn't think she'd use it. And I know I will. Um, this one says love, happiness, dream, and I love anything with words. And then this is a black one, which is great because I don't think I have any black washi. And it says, uh, every day is special, just do your thing. Just really cute sayings, which I love. This one, oh my gosh, has food on it. It has hot dogs, it has a lot of junk food. It has uh, donuts, milkshakes, popcorn, and this is just, she's never even used this, so I love that. And then this one says fun, sweet, cool, and it's in the copper. And then this one has, I think this is Dollar Tree uh, washi. That's what it looks like. Uh, there's rabbits, there's a deer, there's a squirrel, just a bunch of cute uh, um, little animals, really cute. And then look at this one. This is so pretty. This almost looks shabby to me. It says love, lovely day, and it just says love, lovely day on it. It's really pretty. And this one is just some blue washi that says always be kind. It's really pretty. And then here's some yellow and red that's just words, no way, LOL, fun, awesome, just really cute. More of the gold thin washi. Love that. And then more washi. And look at how cute this one is. This one just says today. And then flowers. I love this because you could cut each one of these out or uh, fussy cut each piece out individually. And then this one's really cute. It says, you are capable of amazing things. And I love this washi so much. This is probably my favorite out of all of this, but I love it all anyway. This one says, just be cool, XOXO, hello, be wild. Um, just a bunch of really fun washi, you guys. So. 
Um, thank you so much, Fiona. I really appreciate you sharing all this washi. I can't wait to use all of this. You are just such a sweet friend, and I really appreciate you. Um, and also for picking up things for me when you know I can't find it. And I always tell her, let me know what you're looking for because I know that she shops just as frequently as I do. And so, you know, if we can save each other some gas, because we do have lunch occasionally and we, you know, get to share what we purchased and we get to talk about our crafts. It's always such a fun time. So that is my haul for today, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'm not going to lay everything out because it was just too much stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoy your day and thanks so much for your support and for visiting my channel. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.